In tonight's installment of Reopening Mid-Missouri, KRCG 13's Megan Lane speaks with an area hospital representatives about the financial impact on those clinics and the physical impact on patients. Hospitals prepared to be inundated with patients suffering from COVID-19, while clinics were having to make tough decisions on how to keep their doors open. So at the front end of things, it was very much a, um, felt like you were working in two different worlds, right? Preparing for um, the potential of a surge of patients, but also clinics being probably 40% of um, the amount of patients that they had been seeing prior to the onset of things. The clinical effects, I think we're gonna have to adapt to a new normal where we are uh, prepared for a low rate of continuous new diagnosis of patients with COVID-19. That it's unlikely to go away uh, we're not going to be able to return to the state that we were in in January, for example. Mid-Missouri clinics aren't alone in the struggle. Very significantly across the board. And uh, so what we saw here in Mid-Missouri is sort of a microcosm to what we're seeing across our system, across the SSM system, and even across the nation. Dr. Mike Misco with SSM Health says the clinic volumes dropped between 40 to 60 percent of their usual volume. And that's partly because we contacted patients early on and didn't want people to potentially be exposed. And we tried to convert many of those to virtual visits over time, but not everything lends itself to a virtual encounter. It, some things have, you have to see your, your physician provider and get a hands-on examination. That's just part of medicine. Dr. Michelle Barg with Capital Region says like hospitals across the country, they had to make cuts. Thankfully, we didn't ever get a ton of cases, and so that never really came to fruition, which really moved us down that line of um, we're not seeing patients, and we need to be thinking about furloughing our staff, and we need to be thinking about being most efficient with our clinics and um, and then starting to actually close clinics certain days of the week or shorten clinic hours um, because patients just weren't coming because um, patients were fearful. Financially, the industry has taken a big blow. A huge strain uh, on the clinics, on every hospital in the United States, on the systems you know, as a whole. Uh, talking huge, huge, huge amounts. Uh, the, certainly the the federal aid packages are going to help some of that. It won't make up 100% of that at all. Dr. Mark Wakefield with MU Healthcare says care of patients, educating students, and researching new and innovative solutions is threatened by the economic impacts of COVID-19. What, what I worry about is, you know, MU Healthcare is an academic medical center. We have uh, multiple missions. We um, first and foremost have the privilege of taking care of patients. And we do uh, a lot of excellent care and a lot of stuff that other people are not able to do. Uh, but we also uh, are engaged in education and research as our other missions. And a lot of the, the support for those missions come from a successful clinical enterprise. Another major concern is patients pushing off their need to see a doctor. I will tell you that it's for the folks that I've been seeing in my clinics, um, people are waiting for care. People are fearful to come in. You know, I've had some orthopedic injuries that happened a week prior and they come in and they've got a fracture. They did everything they could to stay away from us because they're afraid of us. There's so much care that's not occurring right now that I think we're going to see a surge in much sicker patients than we would normally have seen. All three agree and say you don't want to have a worsening condition that can be treated successfully because of fear. What I would say is going to a healthcare facility is probably this is one of the safest places you can go uh, because of the measures and procedures we've put in place. If, if nothing else, in the last eight weeks, we've gotten very, very good at protecting our patients, protecting our staff, um, and really figuring out how to take the best care to keep everybody safe when they come into our facilities.